It's fun. <laughs> it's social. It's a lot better than going to the gym. <laughs> yeah, it's a great workout and I like the competitiveness mm -hmm. of it. You know, the rush of a good point, a good serve or winning a match. Mm -hmm. I love it. Agreed. I like the camaraderie of tennis. I like playing with people and working dynamically uh, with a new person if you have to and figuring out strengths and weaknesses and making it happen together. Also learning, right, and improving, having like a, something to, to work for and practice and so on. That's true. Which kind of goes along with what I was going to say is I didn't play any sports growing up, so it was one of the few things that I felt like I could pick up as an adult and, you know, really improve versus a lot of the other sports that are out there. Yeah, for sure. It's not only physical, um, because you're working out, it's good for you, it's good for your mental health. And it's so great socially too, because I mean, I you meet so many amazing people. Like I've met some amazing ladies playing tennis and a lot of my good friends now are because of tennis. So it's, it's great. <laughs>17 teams from all around the U.S. are competing there, so it's, uh, that was good. Yeah, it was a long road. Like, I mean, how many regular season matches were there? And then playoffs, every single playoff match was like, let's just get to the next one, please. Like, and then sectionals, like, that was a whole, like, ordeal just to get to where we got to, you know? Yeah. So... I love that this team like came to compete and I came home and people thought like I'd had this girl's trip. I was like, no, we were in the gym at 5 a.m. We, we were eating carefully. We were in bed at nine o'clock. Yes, like curfew. We were athletes. Like, yes. this, is, this is not vacation. We were like Olympic athletes on this trip. Brushing um, your teeth so between yes, matches. Yes, whatever, whatever our rituals were. Yes. I love it. Yeah, so, we yeah. all felt the same. I mean, you guys took it so seriously that one of the people running the tournament picked 
your your team <laughs> to win it because they were like, wow, these ladies are serious. They yeah. want it bad. And uh, I mean, I think everyone saw that. And we did that, but we still made so many friends and were like congratulated for our sportsmanship and our mm. behavior on the court. And yes. so, uh, yeah, yeah, I was really proud of the way we We were awesome. Showed up Me on too. Court. Yeah. yeah. No, we won if there was right? an <laughs> official award for most popular, you guys won. Like, every team Mother. loved yes. you guys. They it loved us. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> I think one of the biggest things for this team is that everyone was so supportive and encouraging and, you know, really excellent to play with. Um, obviously my partner, I couldn't have gotten there without you. Like the support on court, off court, just knowing that you have a team behind you all the time was priceless for me. I agree. I, I, you could feel on the court, you could feel the camaraderie as you were playing, even with people you know who weren't on the court with you or just uh, just the whole team you know I don't know can't explain it but it was just you could just feel it even though you couldn't actually see everyone's faces in every moment of each match. I found that um, playing side by side with the other lines I would catch a glimpse of how everyone's doing in my team mm -hmm. and I would feel very inspired to see them working hard and especially when they were winning, which was basically most of the time, um, to watch my, my teammates out there on a different court um, working hard. It inspired us, especially if we were down. We were not going to be the ones who didn't win our line. And um, <laughs> it was, uh, I, yes. I thought it was great. And it didn't matter who yeah. I was paired with. Like I yeah. was paired with Carrie, I was paired with Gypsy. Um, mm -hmm. It was, uh, we, we were a team and the other courts were our team as well. And it was great. Yeah. So. Sure. And Dean, you were so nice about asking us, like, what do we want out of the experience and how much do we want to play and, you know, sort of fit with partners. And, like, it was a unanimous, like, that's secondary to whatever you think we need to do to win. All of us. We're like, we're out for the best of the team. Sure. Your decisions uh, were in your hands. And I think setting the tone, and Danny did such a beautiful job on our meeting before we went, just to say, look, the team and, and advancing is number one, and, and everything else is secondary. And I felt like we lived that when we got there. Mm -hmm. So it's good. I would also add that, you know, that in the court and before, you know, right before the court, there was all of this camaraderie, but also outside of the, you know, mm -hmm. the tennis environment. So everyone here, you know, traveled there with, with time. We had time to, you know, to have dinners together, to have a few drinks together, one <laughs> next to, you know, on yeah. Wednesday we're a little bit more free, you know, but I actually think that we, we, we were able throughout the different um, phases of the, of the tournament to really get to know each other more than that first layer, right? Like we got to know a little bit more about mm -hmm. our families, our likes, dislikes, etc. And I think that we carried that to the to the court, right? Because then we'd be inspired by others and then we can be supportive to others because mm -hmm. really really we really started caring about each other, right? Because we it's a journey and it was not just one weekend, right? It, it is a, a lot of months and I think that when we started caring about each other personally, then that is reflected in the court and that, that took us there. For sure. Yeah, I think that's the real key. Yeah. I, uh, at the beginning you want to win. All right, I could see that it really changed at Nationals. It was more, you wanted to win for the success of the team. Mm. And that really changed everything. And it goes back to what Kerry said, and uh, every conversation I had with each and every one of you was to do something special. And it's obviously what I wanted to hear, but if you guys told me something else, we would have made a different situation of it, but um, I'm glad you guys all were on the same page and uh, competed as hard as you guys did and uh, really did it for each other, which was actually mm. what made it like really magical. You know, it was so great to see all that. Yeah. I mean, I didn't personally watch my diet or anything, um, but uh, I think from my end of it, it was way more about the logistics, about having the conversations with the team, making sure that everyone was gonna be able to get whatever they wanted out of the experience. 
uh, this is not a situation that's going to happen very often. So I just wanted you guys to all make sure you had the best experience out of it. And um, I really wanted to make sure that the team was taking the steps to improve your game even along the way. And I didn't actually have to do much because you guys had an amazing group of players and a great captain who organized so many practices, lessons, you know, just mixing it up with some other players and stuff. Um, I don't know if there was an, a better prepared team, to be honest. So, um, I mean, it's really got to be self-motivated. So, I mean, I, I really kind of stepped back seeing that you guys just ran with it, you know? So, um, I didn't have to really do much. You guys were such a great group. You know. You're forgetting all your regression analysis and your scorecards and oh, your scouting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your whole That's like, pivot table. I do that for like the regular season and stuff. So yeah, I did do a lot of scouting. And um, I mean, yeah, I put everything in spreadsheets. And, and it really, it was about you guys, you know? You guys really self-motivated yourselves. Don't forget the nightly lineup that you'd make us wait and wait and wait, and then you reveal the lineup for the next day. It was always the big excitement. <laughs> yeah, I mean, things change, obviously. Right when, like, if we play one match and we lose a match, that changes everything. Uh, fortunately, that really didn't happen until like, <laughs> the very end. Um, but... Uh, Again, we wanted to make sure that we put our team in the best situation. I had uh, conversations with Brian to talk things through. I, I, I definitely wanted to make the decision as a team the whole way through. I, even like when I was like a little worried about this or that, I would talk to you guys and uh, make sure that you're comfortable um, because no one wants to be f like forced into something in, in nationals. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I did do some research. Yeah. Well, a few of us also worked with Coach Adam and we worked on agil agility drills and um, strategy. And not only that, we worked on the mental aspect of the game, which was um, more problem solving. If something wasn't working to change things, to reset and to just um, have fun and cheer each other on. So I just wanted to add that um, training with Coach Adam helped. I was actually yeah. going to say something along, along those lines, right? I think that all of us did so much practice before that. In between the sectionals and the nationals, we were practicing like as much as we could. And honestly, I think that throughout the, the tournament and being, very, being super nice with, uh, with us as co-captains, <laughs> but I honestly think that this team, like all of us were co-captains because everyone had a role throughout the, 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 the tournament or the season, right? From organizing practices to getting the best restaurants available, <laughs> you know, to like literally everything. So I, I kind of feel that we're getting the credit of being the captains, but this is one of those that really it was like everyone has been a co-captain of the of the team and and that brought us together as well 100 mm -hmm. i agree totally and uh i don't want to uh forget a huge part of this team the lovebirds the official captain brought coach b yeah all right um i think you guys felt his energy as soon as he arrived at the tournament <laughs> Um, we're going to miss him, of course, as a staff member here, but uh, he's always going to be part of the family. And uh, I, I know he wants to be here with you guys, and I know how proud he is of each and every one of you guys. So, Yeah. We love him. And you, I think when and he, sh Adam. <laughs> he showed up in one of our matches, and we had lost the first set. And then we heard him, and we won the next set, yeah. and we won the tie break. Yeah. And I, I remember saying to you and him after that, things like shifted when we knew you guys were on the side of the court. It was just like an energy and it was great. Yeah, for sure. Let's go. Let's go! As soon as he walked in, I've noticed that you guys, when you guys noticed he was there, things changed. I, it, was, it was amazing, unbelievable to witness. It was so great. Just like, I, I think we were down a little bit, like, you know, I think the two lines were down. And as soon as 
you know, Brian came, you know, you guys were started killing it. So, yeah. Did he make the noise? <laughs> the, <laughs> the I made him do that in every, mm. every like, whatever you call that. I made him do it every time. It's like a superstition now. <laughs> Just go for it. Just give it a shot, right? I mean, yeah. I don't have advice. We're not would, that good. <laughs> yeah. That good, yeah. Just play. Um, just because clinics are very different than the um, match play, very different. Um, clinics, a lot of the times, you know the people you're playing with, you know their game. Whereas a match play, a lot of the times you're playing with ladies you've never met before. You you don't know their mm -hmm. game, and you you also have nerves involved. So you're you know working with all these feelings so it's just just get out there do as many match play as possible that'll help you get better for sure like gypsy said if you have just played clinics lessons get out there play some matches get competitive um, also something that i really learn from watching you guys compete and all the other great teams at nationals was you guys were just out there for the love of the competition. And you know, sometimes you play for a long time in the league and things change, all right? So it's so important to go back to what brought you to the game too, you know, what you loved about the competition um, and enjoying your, your competition and your teammates, all, both things. Um, because I've never seen teams compete at that level with such like camaraderie, even the other teams, they at the end of the match they cheer. They said one, two, three, good luck, lovebirds, and like it was like <laughs> yeah. amazing. That was so okay? awesome. I mean, yeah. I just so, don't see that at yeah. at some of the other levels. It's just they've yeah. been working at it for so long, so it's so so important to remember what brought you to the game too. You know. Mm -hmm. Dinner, yeah, uh, dr drinks. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> shots, shots, shots. <laughs> I think we're at a loss because we're so focused. Uh, it's like we're, 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 we were, yes. we don't know the answer because we were like focused on the next game. <laughs> yes. It, 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 yeah. I think it's this. I think it's just having the moment with your teammates, with your friends, to talk. Hey, remember we were down this much and we thought it was over and then that happened. Mm, I think yeah. doing that with your friends and your teammates, it's just, it repeats the reward of the experience, you know? Um, and I don't think there needs to be celebrations, you know? Just going through that experience is like the reward alone. And then re re reminiscing about it also, it's like, you'll always have that. Oh, so, sure. you know, um, like, I can go back to our first playoff match, okay? There would have been no sectionals or nationals. Joan and Danny were down a set and like 3-1 in the second set. Um, they got it to 5-6. They had to just claw their way back to 6-all. They won a tiebreaker. They were down in the super tiebreaker, came back in the super and like, wow. but just bringing up moments like that, you go, oh yeah, yeah. it was it was like over. Yeah. And now we're third place in the nation, you know? So just reminding ourselves of those times, is, I think that's the best way to celebrate those situations, you know? I also think that when coming back, you know, going back to the court, you know, we would play other games and so on and, and just knowing that you had that experience mm -hmm. and that you feel so much different because mm -hmm. the level of nerves <laughs> oh, that we yeah, had in the yeah, so was so like so, like so high, yes. you know, that it feels like a celebration, you know, yeah. still you, ha you have some nerves and everything because it's yeah. a match, mm -hmm. but it's a little bit different. It's so different, you know? yeah. So I think that's also like a, a way of like, you know, celebrate or, or remind yourself like, damn, that was good, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. And also confidence. You come on knowing what you just achieved and you say, I, I've got this. This isn't 
so I just went through something far worse, so <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. right. this will be fine. Our USCA matches ever since nationals have been like, okay, yeah, we've already went to nationals. This is this is great. It's yeah. you're right. The level of nerves are not there. You you say to yourself, you've got this. So it's it's a lot easier for sure. Yeah. And I guess the key is what you were saying, right? Like kind of like grab that moment you know and keep like just going back to it and those uh, the feelings that we have there in uh, for, you know for 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 good and, and and for bad and and keeping that true you know to to us so yeah everything oh yeah <laughs> Everything. Yes. Oh, I have to give a shout out to my favorite coach, Adam. Oh, coach Adam. Oh, I love Coach Adam. Yes. He's amazing. We love him. You know, there's just so many reasons. Um, he, he really believed in me. He just pushed me hard, and, and he was really hard at me. And sometimes I'm like. I'm like a little frustrated, but I'm like, no, I know it's coming from a good place. He wants me to get better. And believe it or not, at Nationals, I heard his voice. Like, <laughs> Gypsy, get to every single ball. Get to it. You know, it's not your partner. It's go get the ball and um, focus on your strengths. And, uh, and for me, a lot of the times I forgot. He's like, no, you, remember, your strength is this. So just remember that. Keep at it. Keep focusing on on that. So that and and yeah. And he just reminded me always to have fun and and yeah. So he's the best. I love him. <laughs> I worked with Coach Adam as well. I'm just by the way, and he is all of those things. And he's also like it was a one hour private lesson with Coach Adam. I was like needed a nap. It was it was it was <laughs> it was grueling. I think I did one time when I did like 45 minutes of nothing but backhand, and the other 15 minutes was nothing but volleys, and I was totally exhausted um, but uh, I think he took it very seriously and um, he made you work and it, you got better you know and more confident in your skills for sure and I totally hear you on the you know playing and having his voice in in your mind almost like <laughs> yeah. Julie Cricket from Pinocchio right, you know right. like step in yes. follow through <laughs> yes 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 right. you have a good volume and you would be like yes yes you would be right. proud of me you mess it up I was like okay never yeah, mind yeah. next shot and um, but I think that's true also not only yeah. for Adam but also for like Dean and Brian and yes. all the coaches that we have during the clinics right they're like a the, we like one of the amazing things about a Neurochill Racket Club is that you're not in a clinic with one with one coach right they're like three right. four five coaches sometimes for four or five six people right so the level of attention that you get and the advice and the tips and so on I, I've never seen before anywhere else and just to add in, in addition to learning a lot I feel like the clinics are also just fun mm -hmm. and so you're actually like laughing and having a good time but you're also learning something mm -hmm. which I think makes it great Mm. I really felt too like there was and you know kudos to you guys and the leadership here like you built a community so much so that before we went players the 3-0 the 3-5 they were willing to come out and spend time with us like they were mm. all rooting for us as yes. a big community and That's since you've been yes. back I feel like everywhere I go now thanks to <laughs> your, you know, your emails yes. and your marketing That's so true. Every, the whole community is That's just true. congratulating us yes. and yes. so um, I really for the first time really felt like what a special community this is um, and so, yeah, thanks for creating that because we, yes. we feel really special. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's Being true. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. sometimes you have like those uh, t-shirts that is like one family, you know, and I think that now we know the meaning of that, right? Because it really behaves one like team, that. One yeah. team, one family. Yeah. 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 One family. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we were just so proud of you guys and we saw how hard you guys worked and um, I think everyone else did too, you know, and yeah, now you're celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> Someone like approached me from a clinic on a different court. She's like, "Oh, you know, I'm Carrie's next door neighbor." <laughs> so I, was like, I was like, "She name dropped you, Carrie." <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh, I don't know who that is? So, yeah. so cute. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, I think uh, we try to make sure everyone feels included and. Yeah, I, I felt it all weekend. Everyone was like emailing me, texting me, how are they doing? How are they doing? I'm like, there is a website for this. <laughs> I'm happy to like, I'm happy to text each and every one of them back. And they were all pulling for you guys the yeah. whole time. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. 
Okay. I know you guys are very nervous about this. <laughs> All right. U.S. Open or Wimbledon? To oh, attend or to watch? U.S. Open. <laughs> U.S. Open. U.S. Open. U.S. Open. U.S. Open. U.S. Open. Without a doubt, U.S. Open. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. We're a team. You're All still right. a team. So. <laughs> Venus or Serena? Venus. Serena. Serena. I don't have an opinion. Serena. <laughs> Hold on. Oh! Venus or Serena? I don't know how Just they play. One. Okay, S Serena. Okay. <laughs> Serena. Both I pick Serena. Okay. Yeah. Carrie, sport drink or water? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sport drink. Joan? For the first time. <laughs> water. <laughs> Water, 100%. Water with electrolytes. Yeah. yeah. That's technically sports a sports drink. drink. <laughs> but it's not Gatorade. That, <laughs> water. Water. I go water too. Djokovic or Nadal? Djokovic. Nadal. Ooh. Djokovic. Nadal. 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 <laughs> he just played with a 70, no, oh, I seven, saw was that. 97 year old. Was it yeah, year old? the oldest recorded the, tennis player. Yeah, he so that, yeah, he just it really sweet. wins your heart. Like, yeah. he, he made like time him. to play with a 97 year old. That was amazing. <laughs> Joan, singles or doubles? Doubles. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is a trick sure question. Me. We're gonna start with you two. <laughs> Doubles forever. <laughs> Danny, Doubles. I like doubles. Yeah. It's fun. You're good at singles. I like it too good. Christine? Doubles these days. <laughs> doubles. I have a big singles goal, so I oh. really want to improve my singles like game. I'm, okay. like I'm going oh, yeah. for a replacement. <laughs> 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 Uh, gypsy, serve or receive? Um, ooh, uh, actually serve now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Carry. Oh, receive. I'm struggling. <laughs> I would say uh, serve, serve as long as my partner is the first one serving. Oh, mm. interesting. Ah. Joan, you have a good serve. <laughs> I like my. I actually warm up slowly. I don't want to uh, go back first. Smart. Yeah. Receive. I like receive because I like breaking first. Mm -hmm. mm, wow. So yeah. so oh. so oh. <laughs> Christina, serve. I take yeah, I like to yeah. serve first. Yeah, yeah. great yeah. serve. All right. Uh, gypsy, cats or dogs? Oh, dogs, for sure. Duh. Dogs. 100%. Carrie? Dogs, dogs, dogs. 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 No opinion. Yeah, see, no, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'll go cats. Just oh, to, ah, yeah. well, we have Christina, 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 Christina. Christina, I have two cats. Okay. <laughs> All right. yeah, once again, I want to send. This says leggings or skirts, but maybe we should just go jeans or skirts here. Uh, leggings or skirts? For playing in? Yeah. Skirt. 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 Shorts. <laughs> I would have to choose leggings just because of the alternative. Uh, Apple or Android? Danny? Apple. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> We're old. Hotmail or Gmail? Yeah. Hot, hot mail? I know. Well, yeah. <laughs>